In this video, we will learn how to find points on a number line. Here we have a number line and they have told us find the coordinate point of B that is one fourth the distance from M to J. They have given a point M and J and we need to find a point which is one fourth that is quarter the distance of this total one. Now here it is very important to know which is the initial point and the final or the terminal point. Initial is where we start M to J that is the terminal terminal or the final point ending point. That will we will call it as X1 over here and this is X2. Now whenever you have a fraction the fractional distance formula is given by a simple formula X1 the initial point plus because it's after that right the ratio the ratio we can just write as a b and then you have to just do x2 minus x1 this is the formula this part is the ratio over here okay that's the ratio let's just substitute 2 is x1 2 plus 1 fourth x2 is 18 minus 2 and now solve it up you will get 16 here for one time for four times two plus four is six and that is the answer so if you want one fourth the total distance you should choose six point number six this is one fourth the total distance of m to j so the answer is six same way you can try the others over here only changes this ratio and the points over here the uh, sorry the number line is the same so you don't need to change just the ratio changes seven by eight so it is 7 by 8 over here, 8 1 time, it is 2 times, 7 times 2 is 14, 14 plus 2 is 16. So the answer will be 16 if the ratio is 7 by 8. Please do the others by yourselves, the same concept, same formula, only the ratio is changing. That's the formula over here and the point D will be obtained at this formula. In this problem, if you see, we have got the ratio m is to n not the fractional distance whenever you get like this 1 by 4 3 by 9 or something like this it's the fractional distance now we have been given ratios and they have told find the coordinate point x such that the ratio to of m to x we don't know the point i'll just take a random guess and put it over here from m to x and to x to j the ratio is 3 is to 1 so this one part is 3 times this how would we do that it's by a simple formula n x1 plus m x2 divided by m plus n now i personally sometimes get confused i write m x1 plus n x2 Last year, I used to teach the grade 9 uh, class and I remember even my students used to do the same mistake last time, last year. So please avoid that. Make sure you will use the formula correctly. It's n times x1. This is very important. Many times students do the confusion over here and they will write mx1 plus nx2. That will be wrong. So please remember it's n x1 what is this m and n m and n is the ratio m is to n right n comes first with x1 plus m with x2 divided by m plus n x1 over here is the initial point and the terminal point is x2 now let's substitute all the values the n value is 1 multiply it with the x1 x1 is 2 plus m is 3 multiply it with 18 and divide it by m plus n that is 3 plus 1. Over here 2 times 1 is 2 plus 18 times 3 it's 60 minus 6 that is 54. Divide it by 4 and we get 56 by 2 that is 1 less than 15 um, 4 right sorry it is 15 minus it's 14 so the answer will be 14 over here so you can see that's the answer. That's how we can solve these problems easily. Only thing is M and N value changes. The formula remains the same. Please try it out by yourselves and you can see the method is done over here. You just put this in the calculator because you might get decimal point and all directly in the calculator, formula calculator answer. That's the thing even over here. Now, see the ratio is one is to one, X to J. So now just imagine which is the midpoint over here. 
from 2 to 18 which would be the midpoint over here from 2 to 10 it is 8 points and then from year to year it's 8 mid value is at 10 so because 1 is to 1 means both are equally divided you can even uh, reason it and directly do it as well whichever is convenient now over here we have the same concept but just the number line is different we need to find from g to e so here where is g exactly so we need to find the point g from b to d this is x1 d is x2 the formula remains the same the ratio is the fraction is given fractional distance so a by b is over here just uh, put this in the formula and solve it up as it is over here similarly please try this now here the x1 and x2 changes it's from c to f so x1 is minus 4 and f is x2 is 5 substitute it up and get the answer now here it's negative 2.2 why because from year to year there are negative numbers right and one fifth is just one part of fifths somewhere over here less than two similarly try these old problems and check the answers by yourselves and the last one is over here this is with fractional distance formula remember both the formulas ratios and fractional distance uh, another easy topic if you just remember the formulas this will be very very easy